happen to have seen a crocodile in these promiscuous parts? Then the crocodile winked the other eye and lifted half of his tail out of the mud, and the elephant's child stepped back most politely because he did not wish to be spanked again. Come hither, little one. Why do you ask such things? Excuse me, but my father has spanked me. My mother has spanked me. Not to mention my tall aunt, the ostrich, and my tall uncle, the giraffe, who can kick ever so hard, as well as my broad aunt, the hippopotamus, and my hairy uncle, the baboon, and including the bicolored python rock snake with the scalesome, flailsome tail just up the bank. And so, if it is quite the same to you, I don't want to be spanked anymore. Come hither, little one, for I am the crocodile. And he wept crocodile tears to show is quite true. Then the elephant's child grew all breathless and panted and kneeled down on the bank. You are the very person I have been looking for all these long days. Will you please tell me what you have for dinner? Come hither, little one, and I will whisper. Then the elephant's child put his head down close to the crocodile's musky, tusky mouth, and the crocodile caught the elephant's child by his little nose, which up to that very week and day and hour and minute was no bigger than a boot, though much more useful. I think, I think today I would begin with elephant's child. Then the bicolored python rock snake scuffled down from the bank. My young friend, if you do not now immediately and instantly pull as hard as ever you can, it is my opinion that your acquaintance in that large patterned leather ulster, and by this he meant the crocodile, will permanently vitiate your future career. That is the way all bicolored python rock snakes always talk. Oh!